Uh, Coach, we'll just start off. Uh, what do you think you saw out there from the guys tonight? Yeah, I, I liked our uh, our pace that we played at, the tempo of our game. Uh, thought we advanced the puck really well. Uh, and then we, we our forecheck, our pressure on the puck, we didn't allow them to. And uh, you know, certainly the first two periods, you know, we thought we deserved what we got. Obviously, the third period was a different game, and uh, you know that's not not unexpected. But I thought we absorbed that pretty well, and we just got to find a way to ramp up again tomorrow. They're going to be uh, you know something to prove. But they took two from us when we were down in Tucson, and we need two more. A uh, pair of guys got their first goals of the season tonight, Quinn and Matt. Uh, just what's it like seeing some of those guys getting their first in the year when it's, you know, a game where everyone's chipping in and what's that do for the whole uh, system and the process? Yeah, well, we got a bunch of guys who, you know, maybe it's their first or second year and they're learning the league and, and gaining experience. And he's, you know, Quinn's one of those guys that uh, he's, he's just getting better, um, learning the league, learning what he has to do to have success. And uh, he's got a chance, you know, recently to play more consistently, and he's done a good job for us. So, um, you know, we that's ex one of the exciting things about our group is we have so many young guys who um, there's opportunity for improvement. And so we look at our team, whether it was October, November, December, um, we're looking ahead to hopefully the spring where we can, uh, you know, a bunch of guys can take steps and uh, just to Im improve our depth and. Hopefully we uh, put a real nice club together. What about like the maturity from your group here? I mean, there was a lot of after the whistle stuff, yep. during the play stuff. Do you feel like you guys answered just the right way that you would like to? It felt like you guys didn't do anything extra, just the maturity level kind of show. Yeah, pretty good. Like we want to play hard, no question, and, and uh, stick up for each other and um, you, you need that. But, uh, you know, it's also about winning, right? So I think, uh, that's important and you got to learn you got to go through those experiences and learn how to handle it and it's probably going to be more of the same tomorrow seems like it was a lot of action in that game a lot of physicality but you come out with a shutout in the end how good do you feel about just the defensive game from your team? yeah i thought we didn't give up much uh, maybe early on what we did give up was pretty good quality um and i thought already made a couple excellent saves to you know just keep us in control of the game and then we could just keep building um but yeah i mean we we were pretty good. Well, just for a goaltender in the spot that Artie's been in right now, I mean, still playing a ton of games, gets the shutout, just like, I just wonder how important it is to actually feel like a starter. Like how big of a jump is that, do you think, for a goalie his age? Well, he, he's uh, he's carrying a lot heavier load than he has in, in the past couple of years. Like he just hasn't played that many games. So we're asking a lot out of him. Uh, just that's where we're at, but it you know, was also it's been an opportunity for him, and for the most part, he's handled it pretty well. There's there's been some hiccups for sure, but that's not unexpected. And as long as he keeps getting through it, um, I mean, he's I think again, he's one of those guys. You see him how he looks now; it's totally different than how he looked in, in the fall. With with him and like kind of going through this, you mentioned it's a lot for him to carry, but like when he's having success and improving, like how big and kind of like I don't want to say like fast track development, but this is yeah. something like he's developing a lot quicker than he probably thought. Well, I think like with young players, you gotta you ride the wave when you can, and they they just they keep building and building confidence, and it can be a, like a self fulfilling prophecy almost. And then when they need a breather, you give them a breather, and that's okay too. And it's you know as I said, we've got a lot of young players. Sometimes they need to take a step back. Sometimes they need to play less. Sometimes they need less responsibility. Um, they kind of tell you that by their performance. So uh, right now he's. Playing well. With uh, another young guy, Atu Ratu. Uh, I think six shots on net tonight. What did you think of him tonight? Yeah, I thought tonight was his best game yeah. of the three so far. Uh, he looked very, very comfortable on the puck. Made a lot of plays, lots of deception in his game. Um, thought his tempo was better, you know, along with our team. I think, you know, we, we've been pretty good at home. Uh, we seem to be able to find another gear here, and I thought he kind of he got swept up in that, which is great. What have you seen so far just in practice? And few games now under your belt when you see you got a 20 year old kid here looks like a center for sure it's well he's barely practiced like yeah. he's had one practice <laughs> All right. so it's like uh you know he's played three games yeah. one practice it's hard <laughs> mid-season to get up to speed but um he's an intelligent player size um patience with the puck 
got some deception, like I said. Um, we just, you know, we've got to work on raising his tempo, the pace of his game. Uh, but, I mean, even in three games, you, you've seen a I think he's taking a step. So, Coach, yep. another player with, the, with Jack Graff, and I never played tonight. Is there any sort of update that we can get on him? Yeah, I think he's he's close to being ready. So I don't know whether it's going to be tomorrow or, or not. But uh, you know, he's had some hard skates. It was with a break. He, um, like, we just didn't practice. Like, you know, Rats had one practice. Like, we just haven't had time to practice. We've been playing a bunch of games, travel. So uh, it's hard to get guys up to speed. But uh, I thought, like, his last. Uh, you know, five, seven games before he got hurt, he was starting to get going, trend in the right direction. And so, unfortunately, he got injured. But now it's just the challenges to him to get back to that level as soon as he can. Add to a little bit here. Like, when he has a good game and you see these things, what are the things that you want him to do more than maybe you saw tonight? Like, when you see him having a successful night, what are the things that he's doing to be successful? Well, I mean, when he's advancing the puck clean, uh, we want to make plays, make the first one. Uh, said to the group, like, don't take four touches when two is enough and just move it. And uh, then all of a sudden, you know, we're, we got numbers in our attack and you have time and space. And I think uh, tonight we just played at a higher pace all, all around. And, uh, you know, we have the puck more, we create more. We're in the offensive zone, we're out changing them. And uh, so that's, you know, we want him to, to help with that. What were your thoughts on the off air line today? I thought they played a lot of Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah they're really good. Some very good forechecking shifts. Um, obviously, they got rewarded yeah. offensively. Um, unfortunate, so many penalties. Because yeah. I, I, it was hard to get the rotation going. Yeah. Just, you know, they don't kill like Alfie kills a little bit. Um, you know, and same power play. Like, obviously, the, those guys aren't on the power play. So that, it was too bad because I, I think they were really good early. And that's the type of play you want from them, obviously, what they were doing. Yeah, I thought they played a heavy yeah. forechecking, yeah. puck protection game, got pucks to the net. Um, they were really effective. Do you think we'll see Rathbone tomorrow maybe? Because Schmiedman, I think, now has a suspension, right? Because he fought in the last five Yeah, I, I, we, I don't no, know. No, no. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll sort that okay. out. Is there a John Stevens? What's, I haven't heard anything on John Yeah, Stevens. well, uh, he had surgery, uh, okay. abdominal surgery, and you know he's, he's working his way back. But yeah. he's, not, uh, he's not close right now. Yeah.